I'm Robert Strong, and I do advanced funeral and cremation planning with Forest Lawn Memorial Parks. I'm an advisor, and I've been with Forest Lawn for 10 years. Actually, this is my 11th year, and I absolutely love what I do. So when I came to Forest Lawn, I built my career by cold calling. That's all I knew to do. And people were surprised that I would listen to them on the phone. And they started coming in and it just went really fast. Actually, my training was in at need, but I chose the challenge of actually educating the public. It was important to me to, from my experience to convey that to others that have never thought about advanced planning. This has been a lifelong journey for me. I, I lost my mother at the age of five and my father at the age of 17. And so the idea of learning how to grieve kind of hit me in my 40s and I went through that period. And I had wonderful counseling and through that experience, I went back to school and graduated at the age of 60 in my degree, and I went on to graduate school for a year, and then I came down to Forest Lawn. And it has given me a real purpose in trying to educate the public, to let them know what is important, what is missing in their life when someone dies, what can give them comfort, how they can learn to um, go through the grieving process, it's okay, it's something that we need to do. And, and that's what this acute loss period is all about, is talking about making sure that we know, we, we, we can convey that to, uh, to our clients, the necessity of actually going through the different steps of the acute loss period. Life was different for me than for most people. I've never had the experience of having parents that were older and going through that experience that people go through. I, my church has paid a big part in having faith. I've learned that. My father was a Baptist minister. And um, I did go to school for a couple years. And then I decided to go into the armed forces and I went into the Air Force uh, for uh, four years. And the last year, I spent off the coast of Siberia on St. Lawrence Island out of Nome, Alaska. I figured if I could cope with that, I could cope with anything. When I got out of the service, um, I met my partner and husband and 50 years ago. And we had a salon in Portland, Oregon for almost 40 years. But I also knew that there was more that I wanted to do. And so that's why I went back to school. And then uh, after I was in graduate school, I worked with hospital chaplains, uh, helping people with grief. And also I volunteered for hospice. I did spiritual care with hospice, meeting with the people and just listening. It's very important to me to be part of a spiritual community. And at St. Margaret's, my interest has been in hospitality, reaching out, and letting people know that they are welcome. What I do, I think, has come full circle, and I'm still learning this, but it has come full circle. And um, I'm excited because I have something meaningful that I can share with others, so that gives me a purpose. The acute loss actually did help me put into words what I already knew. It educated me on how to say it and how to actually convey that to the person. Uh, most of us may not have known what to say or how to do that. So now we have the tools that we can reach into that person's thought system and listen to them and then make suggestions. And if they're willing to follow that, at least they have a choice. The biggest thing that I've learned in my life story is listening. It's very important to listen. People need to have someone they can express to. I need to learn how to listen the best I can and to be there for them. That's what most people want, is someone that pays attention to them and listens for what they need. And it's how to meet the person at that place where they are and how to show them that there can be joy on the other side when they get through their grief.